So I'm 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 interested just to hear just to hear this story, just to hear the story of how how you came into like how did you come into the the guest host role for the one q leadership po- first just tell us a little bit about the the one q leadership uh podcast and then and then i, I want to hear the story i want to get the tea yeah you want to get the tea of course of course yeah. um so one one question leadership podcast is essentially just about like asking college execs and just different people who are invested in the sports industry about like their leadership philosophy um why they do what they do what makes them tick and just like kind of um I don't know, just like spreading the wealth and spreading the love of like just making sure we're all building our leadership perspective. Because what I learned from one person is totally different from what I learned from someone else. And like for me, the way I use it is just to kind of like make that connection with other people in the industry. And like I've um, interviewed Patty Phillips, who is like the CEO of Women Leaders. And like she was phenomenal. I've interviewed other people as well. And I think um, just for me, like I said, I'm picking the best qualities of them and making it kind of my own. And I've really enjoyed that experience and that opportunity. So that's kind of how I used it. And that's what it, essentially it is. But um, the tea behind it is the person who runs it, um, we're like family friends. And he was my brother's mentor. And like I was just, I'm nine years younger than my brother, who actually works in the industry as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm nine years younger than him and he was his mentor. And then finally I, I grew up a little bit and he became my mentor. And like, I told him that I had aspirations of being an athletic director and he was just like, wait, I can do something with this. (laughs) And, um, he gave me the opportunity just to sit down and start interviewing people. And like, I've never really, I, at first I wasn't comfortable with asking people questions just online. Like that just that seems a little awkward, but I could love, I love the opportunity of just talking to someone, like picking up the phone and just reaching out and be like, hey, like what makes you think this? And like, how did you think that? And I just love that opportunity and how'd you get into the industry? And so then he like saw that this, this was a perfect platform for not only me, but like seeing that perspective from a student athlete was going to like be beneficial for others as well, especially in the talks of like mental health and like making sure like administrators and college execs are listening to their student athletes so that's kind of the role I serve as a guest host of listening and like giving that that feedback and that perspective of a student athlete yeah that's super dope that's 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 super super dope um because I have this uh philosophy that I feel that um podcasts are the new internship (laughs) <laughs> and and then I've I've been telling people that and people been looking at me like I'm crazy. So I I want to I want to hear from you like what's what what would you say has been like like if you just shared like a takeaway or takeaways from you you know being a being a guest being a podcast host mm-hmm. basically what, what 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 would you say some takeaways have have been for you? Um, I would say like one takeaway is like that it's at my like grasping hands like it. It's released on Spotify, Apple Play, like all different platforms. And like you can easily just sit down or like for me, whenever I'm in the kitchen and I'm listening to Ty's episodes, which is my my um, mentor, I'm I'm like cooking dinner. And like you have the, ac- the access of listening to those things while you're doing something else and you can multitask. So I love that that opportunity and that takeaway. And then another one is just um, just like learning new things. Like I'm always like about just like putting myself out there and just learning from someone else who has a different path. Because what I've learned and what I've like seen is that everyone in the sports industry and especially college execs, like they don't have the same path. Like my path to my um, other mentors is not going to be the same. Like I graduated my undergrad in two and a half years and I'm getting my master's within the four years I've like played volleyball. So like everything is just, it's not like a, direct path and like they're following the yellow brick road essentially so those have those are really my two top takeaways yeah man i think i think that makes that makes so much sense uh, especially understanding that if you have other interests and stuff like that that you may or may not have explored just yet but you talk to somebody who is in that field or doing that thing then you get to have a conversation like in real time and say oh, okay well Oh, I never thought about this. I never would have done that, or I never would have even looked at this job or that job. So, you know, then getting able to ask those questions and talk to those people. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you. 